All right, welcome back to the shop. It's another work day, although it's kind of a fun work day today. It's beautiful. It's heading into autumn. We had 50 degrees in the morning and now it's like 72. It's just gorgeous. As well as working on my own personal cars is something that makes one very happy. Last week you saw that we put those seats that are on that bench right there into this car. We had to do some custom fabrication. You can see the seat rails there on the bottom. I just scrubbed, scraped, sanded, and painted the floors up into the foot well area and all the way back into the back well area. It looks much better. It's fresh and clean. I wanted to keep these brackets from rusting. This car is not watertight. It's a fun little car. Uh, you can see I even got the trunk area all cleaned up. It's shiny and black. That looks really nice. So we'll put the seats back in here. I want to touch up paint a couple other things. Mainly my steering wheel adapter. Looks kind of ugly there. The silver part where the, the wheel bolts to the column. I like to paint that black. Make that look a little better. Just things that bother me. What else bothers me? Another Honda here that's been bothering me for a while. This is an 88 Honda Civic DX 5 speed 4 cylinder has the old style fuel injection. What do we got going on here? Let's open this hood up. Oh yeah, let's find the prop rod. Here it is right here. Okay. Had to get that prop rod in there. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. So, <laughs> let's go back in time a little bit. Probably 1995. I bought this car from a customer. It was wrecked. You can see there's still some damage. I put a fender on it. Uh, I didn't replace the door. I did cut the front off here. This was all crumpled and put on a new shock tower, half of a shock tower all the way to the front. Fixed it up. And what did I do? Somehow my youngest brother bought it or I gave it to him. I can't remember. It's been so long. He drove it for 20 years, gave it back to me. And I had it running and driving again. I had to put an alternator in it, fix the brakes, fix some oil leaks. My other brother, my older younger brother, borrowed it just to store as a, as a decoy car. And it was parked with the rear end up on his driveway. And I went to go start it and all the fuses blew. Could not figure it out for a while. Why? Uh, but I think the fuel tank fuel pump starved for fuel and it burnt it up but it kept blowing the computer fuses so I was baffled I had some help from a friend in Arizona he sent me a new computer although I'm not sure that was the problem I tested the relay the master relay that wasn't the problem figured out that it kept blowing fuses and I have now determined that it's just a fuel pump that just keeps instantly blowing fuses so I've got a fuel gauge on there and I'm waiting for a new fuel fuel pump I got to drop the tank and I think I'm gonna do that because I really want this car to run don't like having cars that don't run if you've noticed that about my channel so let's get this thing pushed in the shop and I'll drop the tank and pull the pump and see what's going on okay so replacing the fuel pump on an older Civic the first thing you got to do is you got to remove the back seat you can set it up there on top of the back portion of the back seat and it's amazing what you find under back seats oh huh. please protect your forest harpy eagle 20 cents off coupons all kinds of good stuff so you got to pull the sender cover to get the sender wires out first that's why you pull the back seat. And I thought maybe you had to loosen this up, but I'm not so sure now. I think that fuel neck is disconnected from down below. So we'll go underneath and check that out. So amazing to me how I keep notes on cars. If you notice, I'm cranking the window up here and I wrote some notes there. Misfire under load, gas is stale. Distributor is corroded inside and crank seal leak. Right front brake caliper sticks. This car's got a laundry list. I'm glad I put those things on there. I would have forgotten. You can always tell how long a car's been sitting around by the amount of cobwebs 
underneath it and berry vines. Well, let's move to the back here. Pretty crusty. So we've got to move, remove this shield and disconnect the fuel lines and then disconnect the fuel hose, which is fill hose, which is the shiny part right there. Might even have to drain the tank. I don't know how much fuel's in it. And then uh, straps. So the straps are here and here. So that's what it's going to take to get this thing down. So much fun. All right, so we got all the lines disconnected. Our pump is dropped. I'm lowering it down right now as we speak. And it seems to be coming down just, whoa. A little, there must be some gas in there, just kind of sloshed the side. I thought I drained it all. Got a couple gallons out, but I think it's got more. So this is where the pump is located, right here under this cover. I gotta get the tank all the way on the ground and we'll see if we can replace that pump. So well, that's a new one on me. Those are all sunflower shells. I'm assuming a mouse has been living in here eating sunflower seeds or sunflower shells. And there's even sunflower shells up underneath the car. Huh, that's a new one on me. Okay, so we're creating quite a mess of tools and supplies here as we install our fuel pump into our Honda Civic which is up there above my head. You'll notice one of the exhaust tips is completely rotted off. I'll show you that in a minute. But let's talk about fuel pumps here. So crazy, this car came with probably a 100 liter fuel pump stock, I'm assuming. And I don't know what these, these used to be $200 or so from the dealer. This fuel pump was $8.99 and it's a 255 liter per hour performance pump. I hope for $8 that thing holds together. Had to do a little bit of conversion therapy on there, but I think I got it. It's weird, this whole pump assembly is at an angle. There's a, um, there's a basin or a trough or a baffle on this side. So we're gonna put this back together and boy, I sure hope this pump works for $8. I'm like, that's just too cheap, but whatever. Let's see if it works. Let's put it back together. All right, so we just slapped a battery in. We got the tank back in it. Stella's wondering when we're going home. When are we going home, girl? <laughs> Not for a little bit. We might need to add some gas. Let's just see what happens. We've got everything plugged back in. I think if this starts. It'll be so great. Let's get the seat back so I can get in there. Okay. What's wrong with our key here? I don't want to turn. Wrong key, wrong key. Oh, I hear a fuel pump. You hear that? You can hear that. It never made that noise before. I'm going to put the camera right here and I'm going to turn the key on. Right, well. Let's go check out front, see if our fuel pressure is pumping. Oh, we don't got nothing. We don't got nothing yet. Maybe we need to add some more fuel. Let's put some gas in, shall we? That gas doesn't look the greatest. Goiggle, 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 goiggle. It's not the freshest gas in town. I'm gonna put some more in. Okay, let's let that get in there. Let's check now. Let's see if we got some fuel pressure. Do we even have any movement on the gauge? You can hear the fuel pump working. So I'm cycling it here a couple times. Let's go out and look. Looks like our gauge is coming up. We got any pressure on the gauge? Oh, yes we do. We've got 40 pounds, or 37. Ho, 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 this could be it. I think this thing might start. Let's give her a try. Oh, gotta put her foot on the clutch. Okay. Oh, oh, it tried. It's trying. 
kicking over. It's running. We've got a check engine light on, but it's running. Yes. Oh, is that stink? Stinky fuel. There's our broken. Oh, God. That is. Oh, that exhaust is awful. Oh, my goodness. But it's running. So let's go through a few things here. I don't know why the check engine light's on. What do we got for mileage here? 252,000 miles? This car's been around the block. Just simple, no AC, no nothing. Tachometer's not working. Why is that? I wonder what's up with... No, it won't take any throttle. She won't take any throttle. Okay, we gotta figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this thing. Let's do a diagnostic. This is a very simple old car. We're gonna peel back the carpet on the driver's side here. And we're gonna look down in that red light and count the blinks. getting an 8. It's either an 88 or an 8. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm going to have to do some research. But at least she runs. Won't take throttle. I don't know what's up with that. I did put in the distributor on last time for good measure because the old one was corroded. I wonder if there's an incompatibility issue. We'll find out probably in the next episode. But I'm just glad she runs. It makes me happy.